Got to go to college in literally about 20 minutes and I'm doing a YouTube video. The sacrifices I make for YouTube, hey? So what is going on guys and welcome back to another video. Now in today's video I'm going to be talking about some of the sort of things that girls do. The little tricks that they use to sort of get out of things. The sort of things that confuse boys. It's not like my other video where I said girls are confused and it is completely different. But we're just going to have a little chat about them. Now in this video I'm not in any way trying to be mean or horrible. I literally am just talking about the sort of tricks that girls use. Just, yeah. You know what I mean? Now, you're probably thinking, Liam, you're not a girl. Like, how do you know all of this stuff? I have got girl friends that I have spoke to about all the things that I've come up with. And I've also researched, well, I haven't researched, I've just looked online. I don't know if they're 100% true as, like, I'm not, obviously I'm not a girl. But comment down below if you can relate to some of these. And just maybe tell me some of the tricks that you use to get out of things. Or, like, when you're talking to boys and that. But number one on my list, when a girl says lol. Now, those three letters literally are so powerful. I cannot stress how powerful those three letters are. If a girl says lol to you, you're, 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 you're f***ed. Like, there's no question about it. That is how a girl can literally go from being normal, being really calm, being nice to you, dropping the lol, and you're about to have an argument. It is as simple as that. Like, no boy wants to be lolled. Lolled? Lolled? I don't know. Lol to a girl literally can mean so many things. It could be normal, they could be like lol as in what you've just said is quite funny. Or it could literally mean go away, you're not funny, I don't want to talk to you. That could literally be it, like, boys have now sort of clocked onto it. I'd say a year or two ago, if a girl said lol to you, you'd be like, oh, look, I'm in. I've just made a laugh. No, that's not the case now. No way is that the case now. The second sort of trick I've got, it's not really a trick, it's just something that a girl does, is they hide stuff in their bra. Why do girls hide stuff in their bra? I've seen so many times girls get out their phone from their bra, get out money from their bra, any little thing that they've got, they've got it in their bra, like why? I don't, um, I just don't understand why it happens, like there could be a perfect explanation for it, maybe that they don't have a handbag or something on them, but literally, why would you not have a handbag? If a girl says, give me five minutes, that does not mean give me five minutes. That means that she is nowhere near ready and she's going to take another half an hour to an hour to get ready. I kid you not, that is what's going to happen. That is just a little trick that girls use to try and make out as if they're nearly ready when they're not. It's as simple as that. They're not going to be ready. Just expect your girlfriend not to be ready when she says, give me five minutes. That's all I'm going to say for that one. Now, the next one I've got on my list, a girl has three types of okay. Well, not even a girl. Every person has three types of okay. There's the okay with a Y on the end. That is cool. That's, that's fine. If a girl says okay with a Y on the end, she's literally letting you do whatever you ask to do. There's no problem. Like, whoa, they dropped my phone. Like, there's no problem. It literally is. Go have fun. Do what you have to do. Yeah, no arguments caused. But then there's the O and the K. Now, grammatically, that's cool. Like, okay, that's how you say okay. But in our modern day, like, text form, that is not okay. If someone says okay to you, you've done something wrong. I'm telling you that now. You have done something wrong, fella. And you need to quickly think what you've done wrong in order to recover the conversation or even potentially, like, the argument. That isn't, like, really bad. Okay, like... Come on, it's okay, like it's fine, like she knows you're gonna do it anyway. She's just gonna say okay to keep the peace. But even when a girl says okay to me, I do get like, what are you doing? Do you know what I mean? Like what? Then there's K. K. Every person, not even just boys, not even just girls. Wait, who else is, what, why did I just say that? What the hell? To boys and to girls, this is the same thing. This is a trick that both of us use. Well, nobody even uses K anymore, like, it's just weird. But if you get K'd by a girl, that's it. Call it quits because she is about to hit you with something that you're just not going to be prepared for. She's blatantly pissed off at you. There's no question about that. There's nothing you can do. All I'm going to say is, boys, keep this in mind that when a girl says K, it, it's the end, it's the end, simple as that. Now the fifth and final one I've got on here, this is very clever. If I could do this, I would do this. This would have been a life saver for me at school. This is where girls say I'm on my period to get out of things. I think my view is a 70% girls. If any of you say that you haven't done this, you're lying. A good example of this is in PE. I just know this for a fact this has happened. It's just so blatantly obvious. When a girl says I'm on my period to get out of PE. Now fair play, if I could do that, I honestly would do that, it's fine. But 
that's just another little trick that a girl uses to get out of things. That's not even just PE as well. Literally classes, classes that they're not interested in, classes that they just don't want to be in, they can say, oh, I'm like, miss, like, put a hand up, like, I've got period pains, I need to go out. Now thinking back at it, that is such a good example of a little trick that a girl uses just to manipulate people. But that is it for today, guys. I hope you did enjoy this video. Now, please don't take everything I said to heart. Like, honestly, it was for the video, but these are sort of the tricks that I think the girls use just to just to wangle their way around things. But if this is the first time you've seen my face on your screen, then make sure you go down there and hit that subscribe button, as honestly, you lot are killing it right now. Like, it is just good. Like, your support right now is amazing, and I hope you continue that. Also, if you could leave a big thumbs up in this video, then that... <laughs> what? <laughs> Why did I just do that? If you could leave a big thumbs up on this video, then that would be amazing. Like, could we go for how many? How many should we say? 500. 400, 500. Let's aim for that. If you can get that, then that would be amazing. But yeah, I'll see you next week with a brand new video.